Okay. So what is collections? Collection is a, a ready-made framework uh, which provides uh, an option to store and manipulate the a group of objects. So that is called a collection. Collection means the meaning itself telling a group of objects or a group of elements. Basically, you can say it's objects only. Collection deals with the objects only. And uh, so once you have a collection, you can perform so many operations like uh, sorting, inserting, searching, deleting, all these operations you can do on the data. So the group of data, right? On the group of data, so you can do a lot of operations. That's what the collection's purpose, once you have a collection. And you can perform different operations. So Java collection is a single unit of objects. Single unit of objects, we call that a collection. And it provides a lot of interfaces and classes. A lot of interfaces and classes. So all these collections are available in java.util package. So any class or interface, if you want to use any other place, first you have to import java.util package and that the interface or class. So what are the different interfaces? So we have a set to list to Q, DQ, and the classes are a list, link list, vector, priority queue, hash set, linked asset, and tree set. So these are the classes we have. And let's see in detail, uh, hierarchy of a collection framework. And first, the top interface is iterable interface. So all this color, right? This mango color, that is the interfaces. The pink ones are classes. And uh, iterable is the top uh, interface that is extended to collection. Collection is the sub interface of iterable. So collection extends to iterable interface. Again, collection is subdivided into multiple interfaces. List to set Q, DQ. So these are the many other in, you know, interfaces and list is implemented see list again a sub interface right sub interface of collection collection is a sub interface of iterable so this is a multi level uh, right multi level inheritance so list can access collection methods iterable methods also and the list again is an interface. It must be implemented in these classes. So the list is implemented in the array list, link list, vector classes. So all three classes implement the list interface. Again, Q. Q is implemented in the priority queue. View key is implemented in the array DQ and link list also. So link list is implementing the list queue also. So two interfaces are implemented in the link list. And DQ so is one interface that is implemented in the link list class or ready queue class. Now set, set is a sub interface, which is again extended to collection interface, collection extended to iterable. 
So this is the hierarchy. And now set is implemented in asset, linked asset class. And a sorted set, sorted set is so implemented in the tree set class. Tree set class inside. So this is again sub interface of uh, set interface. So this is the total hierarchy of a, a collection framework. So here I am not showing the map concept. Map is also part of collection, but this is the main. Uh, so map is not part of this uh, hierarchy. That's why we are not showing here. So this is the only collection of objects that we are storing. So in the list or set, wherever it is, Q or D Q. Okay. So this is the hierarchy, and let's see. What are the methods of a collection interface? So what are different methods of a collection interface? So a collection interface has many methods. One is add method. So add method is used to insert an element in the collection. So so public boolean add. So collection dot add. So collection dot add that. So collection name dot add object element. So object element. So that means this element will insert into this collection. So only one parameter you are giving that element will be inserted. So this element data type is an object data type. So next, add all method, add all collection C. So it is used to insert another collection into current collection. So that means, so you are joining two collections. This collection C will go and join here. That's the add all method. So all the elements, collection means a group of elements, right? All these elements will go and join here. That's the add all method, what it is going to do. Next, remove method. So this element, you can delete from the collection. That's a remove method. So collection name dot remove this element. So make sure, this element is present in the collection. Okay. So then it won't uh, no, delete if it is not there. Remove all. So remove all. You are going to give a collection of elements. So remove all will delete all the elements. So that you are specifying here. So as a parameter, you will pass, right? As an argument, all these elements will be deleted from this collection. That's a removal. Next, size method. So you want to find the size of an element, uh, size of a collection, not element, sorry. Collection size. How many elements are there in the collection? If you want to know, so this size method will return number. So it's an integer type. So int count equal to collection name dot size method. So clear method. So clear method. So it, it will remove the total number of elements from the collection. Collection name dot clear. Collection name dot clear method. So public boolean contains, contains is a, uh, a return type method, which returns whether uh, no, this element is present in the collection or not, it will check. If it is available, it returns true. If it is not available, it returns false. So this is how you can write a return type method. You know, right, how to write. So data type of that method, 
boolean b equal to collection object dot contains object element next public iterator iterator so this method returns an iterator this method returns an iterator so iterator it equal to collection name dot iterator so collection name dot iterator okay so that's the iterator method so you, how can we iterate arrays how are you iterating the arrays you know right how are you iterating the arrays for loop you think using for loop right and for each loop also we can use both of them right mm -hmm. And uh, here, collection, if you want to iterate, you can use iterator method, which returns iterator interface. The return type of this iterator method is iterator interface. Please remember this. I'm going to explain this again after these methods. Okay, so two array. So it converts the collection into array converts the collection into array. So that returns object uh, single dimensional array, array name equal to collection name dot two array. E is empty method, e is empty. So it checks whether the collection is empty or not. So it returns a Boolean value. Yeah. Equals method, equals object element, so it compares two elements, collection element and another element, whatever we are giving. So both are same or not, it will compare. That's the equals method. Retain all, retain all collection C. It is used to delete all the elements of, so invoking collection. So basically, all these elements will be retained and rest of the elements will be deleted. Only specified elements So that's the, please you know, remember, remove all, retain all. So catch the difference. Remove all, whatever you specify, all those elements will be removed. Okay, so my, so this, will remove all these elements from the collection. But this one, it will retain only these elements, whatever you specified in the argument, right? As in the parenthesis. Those will be so retained, remaining will be deleted. Okay, so that's all the methods of collection methods. 
and let's go iterated interface i told right just now iterator method we have seen see here i have written the return type of the method iterator it equal to collection name dot iterator method now what is this iterator interface So iterator interface, basically it iterates the elements in forward direction only. Like we have a for each loop, right? That also in forward direction, right? Only first element to last element, it will iterate one by one. Same iterator interface also will do the same. And it has few methods, like we have has next method. Basically, it returns uh, true if the element is available. And you see, you need to use like this iterator interface, it equal to collection name dot iterator method. So this it is now going to get the one element. This method will uh, get the element and stores here it. Now, while it dot has next, has next checks, okay, this it variable has an element true, then it will come inside. The next method will fetch that value. So that's the next method what it will do. It will get the value of IT variable. What value is there in the IT? So that's the next method and has next. These two are very important. The same code you will use even in your Selenium also, in your programs also, same code. So remember, only change your collection name, your collection name, you will replace. Remaining everything is same. Okay? So that's the iterator interface. Now let's discuss on the list. So what is a list? List is a sub-interface of a collection. Basically, it contains the methods based on the index. Like you want to insert an element in particular position, you have an index-based method. You have, you want to delete a element, you have index-based method. So basically, why list you need is you want to insert a so insert or delete or you want to set the elements or anything you want to do based on the index. The list is going to provide the special methods. So that's the list means. So what, what, what is mean by list exactly? You sir, there is a collection, then why do you need a list again? So list is going to have a duplicate elements. And it you can arrange the elements in the order. So whatever the order you are inserting, same order will be maintained. 
same order will be maintained. And list can contain duplicate elements. And also you can access the elements randomly. Other advantage. So what are the points you need to remember? List is a sub-interface of collection, so which provides the methods, index-based methods to insert, remove, or set the elements into the list. And you, list contains the duplicate elements. So list arranges the elements in the order it's an ordered collection. List is an ordered collection. You can access the elements randomly because it works based on the index, right? That's a list. So again, list is, so this is the, the hierarchy, public interface list, angular bracket, so extends collection E. So what is this E? This is the angular bracket means I'll tell you this, okay? So I'll, I'll come back to this. What is the angular bracket? What you're writing that, okay? So list again, see that. We have seen collection add method. That is only one element you are inserting, right? But this add method, can you observe this add method? Add int index element. But in the collection interface, providing only add method with the element of the Right? But this is the extra method, the special method list is providing with index. Same add all method is you know, inherited from the collection interface. Can you observe this add all method? Add all int index collection C. So that's the index based methods the list is providing. Clear we, it is coming from collection, equals is coming from collection, hash code, even it is there in the collection. Get, this is the very important method. So generally in the array, how can you access the array element? How can you access array element? Index. By index. Can you give the formula? Mm -hmm. A of uh, like uh, A of zero. Mm. A of one, A of two, like that we can. Generic way, generic way you can say array name of index. Mm -hmm. right? Array mm -hmm. name of index. But in the collections, you cannot use like that. So you have to call if it is a list collection collection name dot get method you have to call. How can you access a list collection elements? Collection name dot get and pass the index number. Okay. So array doesn't have methods, but collections have ready-made methods to manipulate the data, to do different operations on the collection data. So that's why, so list collection elements, how can you access list collection name dot get method and pass the index. Is this clear? How can you access the list, list elements? Get the index using. So, that's the get of index you have to use that. That's what we are discussing, right? Yes, sir. All right. So E is empty method. Basically, it checks whether your collection is empty or not. This is also coming from uh, collection interface. And this is the one uh, last index of is from list collection. So object one. So 
whatever the object you are passing, that index, last index, it will find out. True array, it will convert the, so this is also coming from collection, convert the collection into array format. So contains, so whether this object is present in the collection or not, it will check. If it is present, it will uh, so return true and else false. So contains all, you can check a group of elements. So whether those group of elements are present in the collection or not, you can check it. So int index of object element. So remove, okay, so remove, you can remove based on the index also, the elements. You can remove element, element based, you can remove based on the index also, anyone is fine. Remove all is coming from collection again. So we don't need that much. This is important. I'm interested more on this set. I'm going to use this set uh, in one of the programs. That's why we need this. So set, you can set the element in this index. Okay, so you can set the element, particular element on that position. That's the int index. So that's a set method. And uh, yeah, that, that's all. These are the methods important. You need to remember get method one, add int index, add all int index and collection C. And get method is a widely used method. So always if you're working with array list, so you need to use list.get if you want to access the list collection elements. So under set method, we want to set an element in this position. So that's all about list. Again, I'm repeating, what is a list? List is a sub-interface of a collection, which contains a duplicate elements, which is an ordered collection. So you can access the elements. So based on the index, you can remove the elements based on the index. So all those methods are supplied by uh, list, uh, interface okay so list is implemented in array list link list vector classes you please add this point also so there are four points so what is list if anybody asks you can tell these four points okay so there is a list iterator we have seen iterator interface but there is a one more list iterator interface so basically list iterator is used to traverse the elements in backward and forward direction, both directions, you can traverse the elements. So this is used only for list collection, but iterator interface is used for list to set collection also, even for map also you can use that. So that's the iterator interface. And here you have a basically list iterator extends to iterator interface. So the parent of list iterator is iterator only. That means all the iterator methods has next to next methods, you will get automatically here. List iterator can use, right? And list iterator has extra methods, has previous, previous methods. That means previous elements, so previous element is present or not, you can check. So the, along with the has next to next methods. So this is the all the methods of a list iterator interface. So as I mentioned, a list is implemented in the array list, link list, vector classes, right? Now let's see what is array list. So array list is a dynamic array for storing the elements. So what is array list? Array list class uses a dynamic array to store the elements. It is going to inherit the abstract list class and implements the list interface. You can see the hierarchy here. Array list extends to abstract list class. These two are the classes. This is the abstract list class, abstract class. If anybody asks you the different, you know, give an example for abstract class, you can give abstract list. 
This is not, not normal class. This is an abstract class. And which is extended to list. So list is implemented in these classes. So list again extends to collection. Collection extends to iterable. So this is the hierarchy. Uh, these three are interfaces. These two are classes. So, so a few points about array list is array list class can maintain duplicate elements. It can contain duplicate elements. Because list contain duplicate elements, right? So array list also contains duplicate elements. Array list class maintains insertion order. Which order you inserted, same order will be maintained and it will return to you same order. Array list class is non-synchronized. So array list allows random access because array works at the index basis. So array works at the index basis. And array list class manipulation is slow because a lot of shifting needs to occur. Because shifting means when one element is removed, the so elements should move here and there. So that's how shifting takes place. That's why manipulation is slow in the array list. So these are the points, some of the points you need to remember regarding array list class. See, public class array list extends abstract list, implements list to random access clonable serializable. These are the interfaces. So implemented in the array list class. So array list class has three constructors. So empty constructor, default constructor, basically default constructor, and it has a one parameterized constructor. That means when you're creating object for array list class, you can mention all the elements here itself. Or without elements also, you can uh, create a array list object. And array list, you can give a capacity, how many generally collection, we don't provide the size. But here, you no, know, with array list, you can provide the size, how many you want, so that you can do that. So these are all methods, same, we don't want to discuss again. So why do you use array when array list is available? So why we, so there is array, right? Why do you use array? So when there is array list is available, so these are the very important points. So let's discuss this the interview question, this one also. Uh, so is it enough? Okay, let's finish. Let's see this. Okay, how many points we can finish? So, yeah, as you know, we discussed, you know, Array list is uh, no, it's a dynamic array to store the data, right? And array is a fixed in size, fixed data type. But array list is a dynamic, uh, no, uh, in uh, no, uh, data you can store. So, so when you can use arrays is when you have a fixed size. So arrays have a fixed size once they are created. So you cannot modify that. If you know the size of the data, you need to store it. Then, so you don't want to change that data, then go for arrays so that it can be memory efficient and slightly faster than dynamic data structure like array list. So this is because arrays don't need to dynamically allocate memory. So, so fixed size means it will allocate memory in the initial itself. So that's the fixed size. If you want, you can go for arrays. Performance critical applications, so you can use arrays. So for example, when a very, you know, so CPU and more uh, no, memory allocations matters, then you can go for the uh, arrays. So better performance, if you want, you can go for arrays. So as compared to array list. So primitive data types, you want to store Arrays are you know, ideal for primitive data type, uh, so like int, teaser, double, char, int, uh, boolean, so float, double, such kind of primitive data if you want to store, 
and uh, this array only supports and uh, collections doesn't support so this 